Though it may be a chilly Sunday afternoon here in Chapel Hill, the offense has been anything but frigid over the first two games of this rivalry matchup as North Carolina and Duke have combined for nearly 30 runs and more than 40 hits thus far, and both contests have come down to the final frame to set the stage for a fiery series finale between these two bitter foes. Gone 46 innings, allowed 60 hits, 32 runs. Struck out 22 and walked 17 as that one's flown deep to center field. And that ball is over the wall and gone for a home run. A leadoff bomb for the Red Hot Deja Davis, her second homer of the season. And just like that, Duke gets on the board. It's 1-0. Targos looking to avoid a big inning here in the second. 3-2, sent in the air to the left. Sneed goes back, it falls over, head and banks off the base of the wall. One run is in from third, that's Davidson, and everybody else will stay where they're at. It'll be a long single there for Davis, and a 2-0 lead for Duke. First pitch swinging, she lofts that one into deep center, stubs back wall, and it's gone. Jada Baker goes yard for the first time this season. It's a three-run shot, and just like that, it's 6-0 Blue Devils here in the third. With the top of the lineup looming for Duke. She swings and hits that one high in the air to deep left center field. That one is back towards the wall, and it is gone. Francesca Freeland with the third home run of the day for the Blue Devils. It's her fourth of the season, and he makes it 8-0 Duke. The Blue Devils go quiet for one inning offensively, and just like that, they're back on the scoreboard. Boy, that one was launched. As Duke will run rule North Carolina to wrap up this series and complete the series sweep. 8-0 is your final as the Blue Devils come into North Carolina and sweep the Tar Heels and defeat them for the eighth consecutive time in this series that has stretched over the last six seasons. Final totals, Duke eight runs on nine hits, one error, and six runners left. North Carolina, no runs, one hit, three errors, and four runners left on base. Cassidy Curd gets the complete game shutout victory. It is victory number six of the season as she remains perfect inside the circle. The loss goes to McKenna Ray Dark as she falls to two and four.